What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army, what's good? So, like I mentioned in my April 2023 release video, the month of March is pretty much over with. Like, after the Air Jordan 4 SBs, nobody really care about much until we hit the month of April. Now, I did do a review on the Air Jordan 11 Low Cements. Those are dropping April 1st, so make sure y'all check out that video. And as I just mentioned with the Air Jordan 4 SBs, Army, just hold tight. Just hold tight. And that's all I'm going to say. So with that being said, Army, I want to catch y'all up on a couple updates, man. I did see that Lil Bro Z Sneakerhead, man, he had gave us an update on the release for the Air Jordan. I'm looking forward to these, man. The Air Jordan 8 playoffs. These are scheduled to drop on September 2nd. I mean, that's a minute away Gotta wait all the way to September for these army, but I did see Shuby had commented under there. He made sense. He was like, man, I hope that these fall in line with all of the other OG releases. Now, what he mean by that is they were easy cops from the Air Jordan 7 Cardinals. Those were easy cop. Pretty much, if it ain't a Retro 1, if it ain't a Retro 3, a Retro 4, and it's an OG, it should be an easy cop. Look at the Playoff 12s. Look at the Playoff 13s. Like, all those were easy cops. Now, again, release day will be September 2nd. And I want to say that's around Labor Day. And they are coming back OG style army, OG specs, red pull tab. That red pull tab is very vital. Now, we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Air Jordan 8. MJ had his first 3 P in these joints right here. And I don't understand why the Ace don't get that much love. The crazy thing about the Retro Ace is it took me a long time to really fall in love with the Ace. But once you just continue to collect and once you understand the history of that shoe, you can't be mad about it. And I did mention that this is the 30th anniversary of the era Jordan Ace. So it's good to see Jordan Brandon bring these joints back. True with the red pull tab. First time since 1993. All of the other releases had a black pull tab. Not sure why they did that, but again, happy that they are giving us these. Now, they honestly can go ahead and give us all of the OG colorways. Like, I don't understand why it'd be the 30th anniversary of a shoe and you get one OG colorway. We only got one in the sevens last year, and it was for the sixes. We got, what, the Carmines, because they had already dropped the infrareds in, like, 2019. So, it's not like they've been giving us a whole bunch of OGs to celebrate the 30th anniversary. It, it really ain't been making no sense, Army. But, again, happy to see that these joints are coming back. Also, I see my bro Z Sneakerhead post those Air Jordan 1 Palominos. Now, this is a nice image of these joints, because I was kind of on the fence about those joints. And I was really just feeling like... Are these going to be the joints that bring back the Air Jordan 1 hype? Now, hear me out, Army. I feel like the Jordan 1 hype has been dead, honestly, for like the last two years. Last year really just like cemented that Air Jordan 1s just ain't in that top spot no more. But I feel like even the year before that, like they weren't moving like they once were. 2020, I feel like, was the end of hype on Air Jordan 1. Ones like even look at the padded brands like you would think that'd be a five six hundred dollar shoe right now But I feel like Nike is great at pulling at the strings of The colorways that we love they know we love the UNC colorway We got the Air Jordan 1 UNC toes. I hope they change that name up But we got the Air Jordan 1 UNC toes coming out 2020 when these drop man I'm telling y'all it was five six hundred dollar pre-orders on these joints and then we also, again, like I mentioned, got the Palominos. Now, we've already seen the UNC Toes. We've talked about those for a little bit. I still personally feel like those are going to have a little bit of that yellow toe vibe as far as how they move. But you got to remember, that joint is a UNC colorway. Look at the UNC 5s are where they at right now. Give it a little bit. Them joints are going to go up. It's not too many UNC-inspired Air Jordans that's not going for crazy price right now. Now, when I looked at the Palominos, I instantly thought Mochas, and a lot of people have been calling them joints the Air Jordan 1 Mocha 2.0. Now, hear me out about the Palominos. Like, I feel like this is a dope colorway. I feel like the color blocking is nice. It's almost spot on, but one thing that throws the shoe off, bro, 
is why y'all throw this bright yellow or highlighter green Nike Air on in that army? I know it's small, but I'm I'm a stickler when it comes to the tongue on the Air Jordan One. Like I I don't like the leather the leather joints when they be putting the leather on, and that's why I wasn't the biggest fan of the uh, Royal Toes because. That tongue, I just couldn't get jiggy with it. Same with these now. This isn't as bad because they still went with like the nylon, you know, patch for the Nike Air. But another color would have just been more sleek. Yellow does kind of give it a little bit of pop appeal. Like the more I look at it, the more I'm just like, shut up. Like it's still a dope shoe. But then I'm still just like, man, like, oh no. I like the shoe. I like the color blocking. The color blocking, again, I feel like they chose a good color blocking for this particular shoe army. I think these are going to move. I don't say that these are going to be on mocha levels at all. But, like, look at the heel of the shoe. These honestly could be like some reverse mochas. Those are like some mocha 2.0s. And a lot of people have been calling it that. I just wish that they would have gave it the same color tongue how they did on the mochas. That would have really, like, stamped that mocha 2.0 vibe on these joints. But regardless, I feel like these joints are going to move. Release date is September 16th. So those are dropping two weeks after the Air Jordan 8 playoff. So for me, that's going to be a busy two weeks. I'm not sure how many people going after the Air Jordan 8 playoff, but that's definitely a cop for me. And these Palominos are cop and... I mean, if I had to choose one army between the Palominos and the UNCs, I would probably pick the Palominos over the UNCs. They probably should have went with a color blocker like this for the UNCs. That would have been dope because the UNC got that UNC toe. But, like, I like the suede that they do on these joints. Like, the combination of leather and suede is just, like, it's perfect on these. These joints right here are nice, man. Very, very nice. But I'm going to go ahead and forget how the tongue look, Army, and I still think that these joints right here are a cop. Now, last but not least, y'all, Army, this is going to be something that I rarely ever say. And a lot of people got their ass set on the Air Jordan 11 Columbia to drop again. High cut patent leather and then, you know, reimagine OG style. A lot of people want it, and I'm here for it too. But this mock-up that Z Sneakerhead posted, and this is a shoe that I've said for a very, very long time that Jordan brand needs to bring out because y'all already know. We got the Air Jordan 11 Low Cherries. Those dropped already. And then, of course, last December, we got these joints right here, the Air Jordan 11 Cherry Highs. Now, we did get the Air Jordan 11 UNC lows years ago. Now, it's time for them to give us the Air Jordan 11 UNC highs. Now, again, this mock-up that Z Sneakerhead dropped, it just solidified how dope those joints will actually be. I personally feel like that may be in, like, the top three best non-OG Air Jordan 11s. And as I look at them, like, my favorite Air Jordan 11 non-OGs are the Air Jordan 11 with, like, 82s. And then I'll probably have to go with the cap and gowns. Or, no, actually the gammas. Gamma 11s and the Air Jordan 11, one like 82, are my favorite non-OG colorways in the Retro 11s. And seeing how we could potentially get that, I just love that color blocking. Like, even the one like 82s with that navy on the patent leather with the white upper, like, I just feel like that is an Air Jordan 11. Like, that's fire. Not opposed to the black upper on Retro 11s. But when you got that white upper, you got just that predominant colorway going around that patent leather. Those UNCs will probably, man, if they were to drop those, mud's going to go crazy for them. I don't know why they holding off on them, but I do feel like them joints are coming soon. And not to mention, y'all know Lil Brosy Sneakerhead, man. He kind of cryptic sometimes, man. So, and they've been on it. Him and Sneaker Foul has been on the 2024 releases army. I'm calling it now. I think we're going to get those. And But what I got to do is I got to see when did we get those uh, Retro 11 lows, the uh, the low UNCs, because Jordan Brand, they, they kind of work on like a time schedule as far as like when they drop a low in the shoe and then we'll get a high version or we got a high version and then we'll get a low version of it. So let me see, Air Jordan 11 low UNC, those last dropped in 2017. 2017 so next year will be seven years since we've got a version of this shoe now if the cherry lows dropped in 2015 air jordan 11 low cherry we got those in 2016 so it's a year off 
But they still close in dates, y'all. I think we're going to get them joints next year. And, again, this is one of the first time, Army, y'all going to hear me say, I'd rather go with a non-OG over an OG. I'd rather see those drop before I see the Retro 11 Columbia drop. And a lot of people in Z Sneaky had comments saying, like, nah, let us get the Legend Blues or let us get the Columbias first. I'm going with those. Let us get those. Then we can get those. Because, of course, y'all know, we're going to eventually get the Columbias. Those are destined to happen but these may not be destined so i'm gonna go ahead and put that out there nike if y'all watching bro we need them joints man we need them joints asap so army make sure y'all comment down below how y'all feel about all the sneakers from the playoff ace the air jordan one unc toe the palominos the potential air jordan 11 uncs i love those man let me know how y'all feel about those in the comment section below army i love you guys smash that thumbs up Hit that notification bell. Again, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. You got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable Army stands strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones. And of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the users. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old tough, but he get a music. Yo, it's old him first season. The most beefy looking like two laps. Two laps cause your ass taking nails.